Welcome to How to Play Chicken Fight. So we're going to jump right into it. The first measure, we're going to do a two and four on the, as a normal snare, and the rest of the notes are going to be on the room. After that, instead of just doing a gallop on three, you're going to be doing a gallop on every single beat. Then we come to the first little groove of, of the song. And the first accents of Measure 6 are going to be on 1 and the end of 2. And then the accents from there on out are going to be a 3-3-2 three, three, accent pattern with the eighth notes being the 3-3-2 three, three, with a little bit of flair added up in the center. So we're going to play Measure 6 first. Measure 7, you have a flam as a second accent. In measure seven, all the accents except for the last one are going to be flams. And then on measure eight, we have a little funky syncopated groove to lead us into the next section. So the entire first eight measures are going to sound like this. So the next eight measures are technically the next four measures repeated. And the uh, we're going to have one repeated measure throughout this part, and then two fill measures, you can call them. So the motif is going to be have an accent on one and the E of two. And then we're going to do rolls into four and rolls into one of the next measure. So the first four measure, fill, fill measure, we're going to go into double time for a little bit, and then we're going to end on three and do a rim shot on four. Then we're going to have the motif again, and then the last measure is a, is a buildup, so you increase the subdivisions as the measure progresses. So we're going to do quarter notes, and eighth notes, and sixteenth notes, and then thirty-second notes, with the thirty-second notes being doubled. And then that's repeated. So that entire section without the repeat is going to sound like this. The next two measures are really hard, so we're going to go beat by beat on them. For the first beat, we're going to do 16th notes, but we're going to double the first two sixteenth notes because it wants thirty second notes then two sixteenth notes. Then we have a flam on one and then followed by sixteenth notes. The way we're gonna stick that is we're gonna do a flam tap and then we're gonna do a double stroke on the hand that did not do the flam tap right afterwards. So in this case it would be flam right left left. Then the last beat is just straight 30 second notes. So 16th notes and double stroke all the 16th notes. Then we have this really complex rhythm. The way that I've been sticking it is we're going to do a flam tap. Your non-dominant hand is going to be doing a hit on the and to lead into another flam tap. And then we're going to end with just a flam, uh, a flam, but your non-dominant hand is going to be the one that's the main hitter. And it's just going to do a triple. And the reason why I kind of sticked it like that is because you're kind of limiting the amount of triples you need to do. And it also means you end, you start again on your right when you do the 30-second uh, notes on the next beat. 
That was my thinking. If you have a better sticking, please put it down in the comments because I would love to have a better sticking, but that's the best sticking I figured out. Then B3, it's going to be 30 second notes on the first two 16th notes, and then we're going to end on the end, and then just do another hit on four. So all together, those two measures are going to sound like this. Then the next measures are just going to be, you start with the rim shot on one, and then you hit on two and four. Well, only the first measure has the rim shot on one, and then you do two and four for the rest of the time until you do the little transition fill from all the way back in the beginning of the song again. And then here is the final groove. So we're going to uh, we're gonna continue the motif of a 3-3-2 three, three, through eighth notes, but we're going to do straight sixteenth notes when doing the, the pattern. So the first and third measures of this part are exactly the same, except the third measure also has a rim shot on one, and the first one doesn't. So here's how it sounds. For the second measure of the sequence, we're going to do the accents on one, the end of two, and four. But on four, we're going to be doing 16th note triplets leading into the other measure. And we're also not going to play a 16th notes on the E of one. The final measure, we're going to do a, uh, we're going to do two gallops. One is a one E and, and the other is a four and a. So it would sound like this. So all together, those four measures are going to sound like this. Then we're going to repeat the same three measures from the very beginning of the song again. But instead of doing the fill that we did before, it's going to be a different fill. So the accents are going to be on the ands, and then they're going to switch to the E and the A uh on B2. And then we're going to do three and, four E, and then smack on one, rim shot at. So now I'm going to play through the entire song. Uh, I'm going to skip the repeat, though. 